Let's move on to the big conversation point here at the 9 p.m. on the urban debate. And as the winter set in, viewers, on the 9 p.m. tonight, frankly, I don't have any new questions. And, and I'm dreading some of the conversations, maybe the same that we had last year and last two last year and the year before that. But the problem still remains, the problem of pollution. The problem probably is graver now with the added challenge of coronavirus. So not only do the citizens of NCR and the national capital have to deal with pollution, wear masks, stay indoors, think about whether they want to let their children out, struggle with respiratory problems. The respiratory problems themselves will become a bit of a challenge. And the government itself is saying that there may be a rise in COVID cases. So it's a dual challenge. But unfortunately, if I sit and look at what's been happening, I don't see too much of a difference to many steps that have been taken by any of the state governments. So I'm going to ask the same questions. I'm hoping there are some new answers of why we seem to be in the same spot that we are year and year again. Experts have warned of COVID spike in winters. In fact, that's been seen in some other parts of the world. Center and a central government's report said around 50,000 cases could per day could be registered in Delhi so we need to be watchful of that the government seemed to be very wary of the stubble burning issue there is already a massive farm protest going on over the central government's legislations no government now wants to go and stop the farmers and say that don't burn the stubble you are adding to the pollution problem none of them have found a, a long-term constructive solution to the stubble burning problem in the absence of a strong public transport uh, as people come out during times of a pandemic, many are preferring to now go uh, in, in cars. More and more cars are on the road that adds to the whole problem. Several of the thermal plants in and around Delhi, especially around Delhi, uh, still continue to function, adding to Delhi's pollution. I'm also going to talk to you about how the stubble burning has significantly gone up this year, and especially from the state of Punjab. And citizens of Delhi at some point will have to struggle. Let's say good evening to the panelists who are joining us this evening on this conversation. I've got uh, Mr. Harish Kurana of the BJP who's, uh, who's with me uh, on this conversation. We've also got Captain Shalini Singh joining us this evening, Mr. Harshwardhan Puri, Sanjay Upadhyay and Mr. Abhishek Dutt also with us this evening. So the, uh, let's straight away get to the conversation and I want to begin with the experts. So I actually want to begin with Dr. Harsh Vardhan Puri, who is a public health expert and a consultant thoracic surgeon at Sri Gangaram Hospital. Uh, Dr. Puri, just help our viewers also understand uh, why this winter season could be a dual challenge for Delhi. Yes, Dr. Puri, I can hear you now. Go ahead, please. Uh, actually, this is a dual challenge. Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is a dual challenge because we face two major problems uh, this winter. One is the pollution, which we are talking from the last, I guess, five years, six years. It has been there. It's increasing. And the other thing is COVID-19, the contact which we are uh, dealing with. Now, how this, this thing is, uh, I just want to take two minutes of yours. Uh, one is that wherever the uh, PM fight level is higher it's it's around 190 200 like uh, today uh, morning in delhi it was 170 which is in red zone so uh, what happens is this contagion uh, this uh, tm 2.5 act as an to this contagion and the spread is larger we all know that studies have now proven that it is an airborne disease so the spread of this will be higher in the areas but the pure tm 2.5 level is higher this is one point so the uh, the places which are more polluted will have higher larger spread of uh, covid-19 one problem is that the other problem which will be will be facing is that uh, there are many studies now which are coming from uh, italy from us from china that the uh, more polluted city is more the number of deaths are due to covid-19 this is it takes you no know, einstein brain to think COVID-19 acts on the respiratory system of a human being and if the lungs are already compromised because of, the, because of the air pollution, then we are going to have more problems in that particular individual because of COVID-19. So there is a direct cause and effect relationship. Because of pollution, the COVID-19 cases will increase and the 
fertility rate will definitely increase in winters. And so, Dr. Harshwardhan Puri had a point to make. Go ahead, Dr. Puri. So, I was listening to the uh, statistical data given by all the governments. The Delhi government is blaming the Punjab government. Punjab government is blaming the Haryana government. Haryana is blaming the center and all those stuff. So, please, please listen to me. If you want statistics, I can give you statistics which will, which will open your eyes. 12 lakh people are dying of directly because of air pollution every year in India. Everyone in Delhi is uh, smoking six cigarettes per day if we correlate the PM 2.5 level to the smoking level. So six, six cigarettes per day, even a non-smoker is smoking. A child who is not even born is suffering from the men's air pollution because of the PM uh, point on which, which crosses the placenta and goes into the blood uh, placenta barrier and crosses goes into the neonate. So I just want to tell every uh, this, uh, these representatives of each party, this is not a political debate. Please, please put, stop doing uh, this state-wise debate, this Delhi versus... Uh, two points I want to make that it is not a problem of Delhi. If you see the WHO report, and most polluted uh, cities in the world are from India. As an Indian perspective, Ghaziabad is the most polluted, and there is uh, Lucknow and all those stuff. And Delhi also comes at around fifth or sixth level. So it is not a problem of Delhi, it's a uh, countrywide problem. The other thing everybody has to understand, if we keep on uh, passing the buck to the other state, other government that Congress uh, was in power for 15 years, what they did, AAP is in power. Please stop that. Our parents, everybody has his or her child there. They are suffering. Every fourth child in uh, Delhi is having some kind of asthmatic uh, problems. COPDs are increasing. Our elderlies are suffering. Find a way, find a solution before we get it extinct. Please, somebody um, from, I think Congress was making a point, it's a national health emergency. Every year after year, year after year, on this, these uh, debates, telling everybody that you have to die because of this air pollution, this climate change. Then they show the statistics, 10 million burns, the 30,000 machines are given. What's on the ground? Please sit together, come together for the public. Think about people. Just don't think about politics. It's politics. Everybody, you are breathing the same air I am breathing. Correct. The, the uh, child is also breathing the same air which you are breathing. So everybody is getting affected. It's not you who is getting saved. It's not me who is getting saved. So make policies, make uh, amendments. You know, and I find this very odd. Emergency. Make it yes. a emergency. Yes, and Dr. Get, Puri, I find please. this very odd. It's please. not to Thank say you. that our VVIPs, that are, that are sitting ministers, that our politicians uh, uh, or even our MLAs and MPs, they are breathing some other air. They're breathing the same air. You know, I, I fail to understand yeah, how those who are living in yeah. Delhi and even the, the, the state politicians and, and their families and their relatives who are in, in all of North India and in, in, in Delhi, how is it not impacting them for them to want to do something about it, to bring about a change? Uh, why is it that it doesn't impact them to the point where they say, no, we must change this. We have to live in the city. It is our national capital. Uh, and then there is the problem of stubble burning in Punjab and Haryana. Punjab being the big, bigger one there. If only instead of pointing fingers at each other, we all did our own jobs. If only instead of finding ways to politicize it and play politics and make the other person look bad or the other party look bad, we did our own jobs and, and ensured that what we could do at our end was actually fixed. Imagine how much better and cleaner our air would have been today. When I said 128 Supreme Court orders between 2015 and in, 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 in now, that was just one example. A lot, many more in the high courts, many more in the green, National Green Tribunal and scathing observations and comments. But it doesn't matter to our elected representatives. That's the unfortunate part. And all of this comes at the cost of your health. Thank you to our panelists for joining us on this conversation. I'm sure we'll have many more as the pollution worsens and the winter season proceeds. Thank you for joining us tonight though.